This is weird. I didn't know there was a new series coming out today. Um, I, I was not prepared for this at all. I've, I, I've seen a little bit, just like I saw random pictures, but I, I didn't know if it was going to be a serialized the new thing. As well as, like, I, even when it was, I thought, oh, was it a one-shot or a chapter? Like, I went into this very blind, which to me is very interesting, because usually I'm, I'm pretty upkept on, like, with other... Um, with other like you know manga youtubers of like oh you know this new series is coming out let's check it out i haven't heard, really heard anything i think the only one that i've heard talk about this was keto taku but like i don't know i i think i just kind of like saw the picture and thought it was something else and skimmed it but he's the only one i can think of that was talking about this from what i remember before it came out but i gotta say i, I really liked this uh first chapter i thought it was really good especially the art i feel like the art right off the bat was was really nice um, and it's going along the ways that I think that is the new going to be the new wave for uh, for Shonen Jump series is like completely tearing away from the the norm and doing like these very very weird series that are you know just absolutely nothing like any of the other ones. Like and I mentioned before in a couple of videos, like I like I like a lot of like you know aspects of shonen i think there are a lot of shonen tropes that everyone just in general enjoys seeing the tournament arc is probably the easiest one to always go off of and i'd like to see that in pretty much any series but um there's there's right now just like i, I think chainsaw man really kicked off like just making uh you know a series even in shonen jump just not feel like it would regularly be there just make it a little bit weird and this is like, uh, you know, I had that with Undead Unluck too, and this is uh, a little bit around that same area. So, like, the, this year, it's like, it starts out, you have this girl, she's, like, talking about because the fact that her dad is a cop and her mom is a nurse, that she's always just had this innate, um, you know, want to help people. And there's, like, a part where she, like, she just goes up to, like, a little kid who's in the park who, like, fell and hurt himself, and, you know, she gives him, like, a band-aid, and she just seems like a really nice person in general. And, you know, I, I I like this character already. She just seems like a all-around delightful girl that even, like, no idea, like, I, I don't even, like, have her name memorized yet. And, like, I, we don't know anything about really much about her backstory other than, like, her parents. And, like, we find out, like, kind of pretty much what her power is in this. But, like, I think just an all-around general kind, like, person like that is just easy to enjoy right off the bat. But... Well, like, you see this part, like, she's walking with a friend. Oh, this girl, her name is, uh, Riku. That's actually gonna be, obviously, very easy to remember since, like, you know, I play Kingdom Hearts, and it's just gonna stick in my head, stick in right in my head of, like, oh, yeah, I'll just name that I've already, you know, know, so just associate with it. But, uh, you have this dude who shows up, like, right afterwards, because she's, like, walking with a friend, and then she's like, oh, hold on a second, and all these windows, like, shatter. And it's, it's made out that, like, she has this, like, a sense for danger, you actually find out later that it's actually that she's just uh, sensing, like, these phantoms that are attracted to her, that, that are coming to her. Like, instead of it being like, oh, yeah, she could just sense danger for it's about to happen, she's just able to kind of, like, to a degree, sense the attacks of these creatures before they show up. Like, they before they, like, kind of make their move. Like, she's actually the one putting other people in danger. But, I mean, like, it's not her fault. So, I mean, it's... It's it's an ability she didn't know she had that she wasn't controlling. So like I said, it's 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 not this girl's fault. I got I got to put that out right off the bat just because like I don't I don't want to I don't want to tear away her niceness. But um after that point like we're we're still kind of like I said warming into this. You get the the main character Iori Katanagi and he's like in this room with all these talismans and like she, yeah, the first appearance of him I gotta say is just cool because it's like he's you know he goes to talk to her and then you have like this shadow like over his body with like the one eye like uh drawn and then like this dark energy going off him and we find out that actually that his power does have to do with shadows so i think that just added like an extra layer of cool to his character just from the start and i think personally his uh like his character design for one his, his initial character design is just pretty cool like i think the white hair is, is pretty nice it's not it, it it's one of those kind of like um you know, a little bit shown in main character, but not too crazy. It's not all spiky. He has the more of like kind of cool look to him. And like I said, like this dude so far seems pretty uh, seems pretty chill. And like his um, the the whole shadow powers in general also is pretty cool. Like I, that's just a, a neat ability in general. I mean, there's like I've, I've I've said this in multiple other videos. I I do think the main character's power when it comes to a series like this is important because I mean. You want to catch the reader, but on top of that, like, it's it's something they're going to see a lot, your main character's abilities. 
So, you know, you're going to have to have something stand out. I mean, you could have something that's, like, weird wrench and everything. Like, Oz is like, uh, you know, he's got a, oh, anti-magic in a world of wizards. Or you'd be like, oh, Deku, and you have, uh, oh, it's super strength. But it's like, no, this is, like, ultra strength. Very emphasized, like, super, super strength. And then, you know, you, know, you can have something crazy like Denji, like, with his chainsaws and stuff. You know, having a, a devil hybrid body. So stuff like that, and then like this, it's not only shadows, but he can like summon this like super badass looking like giant phantom. I mean, like that already. I think this series has a pretty good build and a pretty good setup. And I'm I'm, I'm talking a little bit like earlier, like into the in the chapter about certain stuff we find out later, just because I think that in the first chapter, I always want to look at it more from the standpoint of. Okay, instead of it being like, oh, a new chapter in the series, it's more of like, this is the product, and this is the first time we're really seeing it, so I, I want to look at it as a whole through the whole time, because, like, it's like, oh, well, do I think this series, you know, uh, do I think that I'm going to follow the series, and so far from this first chapter, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna review it regularly, there, there's only been a couple series that luckily, like, you know, I've got from this very start on the channel that have stuck and, uh, you know, haven't gotten canceled, and they, unfortunately so. And we've had, like, Chainsaw Man, luckily, Undead Unluck. I've been pretty happy about those. But, like, I'm hoping this does well. And, then, you know, I generally, like, if I review something um, more, like, than the first chapter, because the first chapters I usually do, like, there's, like, most of the time I end up doing the first chapter, and then it just depends on whether or not I like the series beyond that, if I'm going to continue it. And this one, like, yeah, I, I definitely want to continue this. This is pretty neat so far. I like the premise. I like the powers. I Obviously, I said I like the art. And I like the characters. Like, they hit everything that I would hope for in a first chapter. I mean, plus the dude's sister. Like, goddamn. But, um, like, he, you know, he's he's in this room after getting the girl to, to go there. You know, he's like, hey, you know, come meet me over in this empty room. So he's like, okay. I figured she would go and do it even if it seemed a little suspicious because of the fact that she's, you know, her whole thing about wanting to be, you know, help people. And she seems very um, outgoing towards, you know, just interactions with strangers. And that can definitely be a little bit dangerous for her. But, uh, I mean, I guess if she's pretty much kind of like drawn by all these, uh, you know, monsters and anybody who tries to attack her that's human is probably in for like a pretty bad time but uh the explanation that we essentially get is that you know she's you know she's being haunted like she's well, not even haunted because they're ghosts she's being stalked by these creatures called phantoms and that's like the, the difference is like it's not ghosts because they weren't it's not like a you know the soul of a dead person got warped it's like no these are like weird monsters that are trying to just kind of like latch on and cause problems uh for you know people and you see the dude's when you see the dude's sister god damn like i said god this this like shaman she's got like this they old nice legs and uh wow, everything about this chick just seems delightful from the start and i like the i like the premise that we get or, uh, like initially because like he uh apparently he like he had pretty much has to listen to her all the time because she you know she's powerful and she probably causes him you know a little bit of backlash if, if he refuses her and uh, like near the end of the chapter she's like if you want to you know not have to listen to me you have to become stronger than me and I, I like that i like that premise a lot i really like when they have like a a baseline like pretty baseline like uh premise for like that most characters have like you know getting powerful you know rising the ranks of you know of their powers and stuff and but it's it's done in a different uh it, it's done for a different means that's one of the things i liked about golem hearts sad still miss that series but like it was like the main character wanted to become number one so by proxy, his dad becomes number one, and then he becomes like the second ranked uh, golem creator or whatever. I can't, I, I can't remember exactly what they're called. Makes me sad because I did really like that series. I thought it was interesting. But uh, here, instead of instead of being like, I want to become number one for you know, uh, you know, for more of like a personal like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to, you know, roar, I want to. I'm stuttering really bad on this, just because I was trying to figure out which character I wanted to use as a representation. I mean, I guess, like, Asta, Asta going to Wizard King, he wants to create a better country, and he wants to create, a, like, a land, you know, more peace and, um, and equality and stuff. Deku wants to be, you know, a hero that people can trust and do good things. And you can look at Naruto, Naruto, at least initially, when, you know, he wanted to prove himself, like, to all the people that doubt him. Here you have the guy being, like, want to rise up the ranks just so his sister will stop harassing him all the time and he could do what he wants. I, I do like that. I think that's, like, a really really nice way to kind of twist the uh you know the that whole kind of like shonen trope and i, I i've mentioned it before I, I do really like seeing 
like specific tropes but done from different authors just to see like how they're gonna spin on it and then you when they have stuff like this like like i said i i do really enjoy that but like they're like riding home on this train and you see like her freaking out because i like, have all these phantoms like coming to look at her and it's like uh they, they, they've not only that they've got like the low level ones outside that are like kind of like looming in like these eyeballs and these spooky ghost hands and that's when they reveal like it's actually her power that these phantoms like you know they they're attracted to her like she just pulls them in so she was instead of like helping people she was actually putting them in danger and she, you know somebody who very much obviously to her core that we find out even in the first chapter that she just wants to help people she just wants to be you know a, a really nice girl and just do nice things for other people obviously she's not going to want to have people around her if she's a danger and she even saves uh Iori at one point, like, the one of the, the weird phantoms that uh, comes to grab her, like, this odd hair-like being, uh, and, and it goes to, like, you know, try and snatch her away, and he's like, uh-uh, I looks like I'm gonna do what I need to do here, you know, he's just doing his thing as a shaman, and he ends up using his power, and he has this key, and I do like the key, I think the, the, the whole thing that, you know, this very ominous-looking key, and then the way it'll, you know, float up, and then he's, like, unlocking a door, as he's saying, like, you picked up, you know, he's like, uh, you know, I, I possess the power of, uh, uh, the control shadow, which means that I control a pretty powerful, uh, phantom. So it's the shadow phantom. And like, this dude looks badass. I mean, it's just really cool design in general. I think my favorite part about this design is the, like the really cool protruding, like skeletal ribs that are just like pressing out of his chest. I think that looks badass. Like this dude in general, he's got like a big shadow sword and like while he's doing it like all this like shadow energy is like encroaching onto the dude's body it just looks badass in general and it was a really cool way to start out the series and it's just a domination of uh once he comes out this powerful creature just grabs onto uh the other guy you know this attacking phantom and just like he's got like these shadow hands coming out of his back and then his main hands he just like walks up and he just presses down and and just skewers this other one and kills him and I thought that was just really cool. And I, I like the main character. I like that he comes off also as, like, he's, uh, he's he's kind of, like, calm and collected. But at times he can kind of have, like, these outbursts, like, afterwards. It's like, I just want to be a normal dude. I don't want him to deal with this kind of stuff. Like, he's doing it because his, his sister, like, makes him. And they bring up, like, he has a talent for being a shaman, but he doesn't want to be one. He just wants to be normal. And he doesn't want to have to, you know, utilize this, uh, you know, high uh, level of latent abilities that he has because it's you know probably troublesome and annoying for him to do on a regular basis and um it, it's a nice contrast too with the the two main characters you have the male lead who is you know he's selfish and he doesn't want to end up going out of his way to do things for other people even if it you know in this situation will help him also the 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 dude what was his name um angioki with the the shadow katanas in his back that too just looks badass but um yeah, when you have a, a, a main character, male main character, he's, he's selfish, he doesn't want to do stuff, and, you know, his, his female lead is somebody who just goes out of their way uh, to, you know, to do good things. I think that there's going to, I think they're going to play well off each other. And I think having, like, a, a, a set duo at the start, already having very like, conflicting personalities, you know, it puts a lot of potential for what they can provide later on for, you know, character interactions, development, and, uh, you know, insight into situations and stuff. So... I'm definitely going to follow this. I, I thought this was interesting. Um, I definitely want to see more of this. And um, I, I'm hoping more of these series come out where it's like very weirdly toned in comparison to a lot of other shonens. And the main character's power is... I, I do really like the, the you know, having a darker power or a more aggressive power to kind of like do good things. Um, I think it's cool. I've, I've always really liked that. I've always really liked the idea of like the main character's abilities and stuff stemming from a darker place but utilized for good i think that's just i think that's just a really neat uh you know a neat thing to have but anyway um yeah it's just always fun it's nice to see them kind of like turn it against like the bad guys anyway uh yeah comment below tell me your thoughts about this i tried to keep it a little bit uh pretty short i mean this is like 15 minutes hey, i wanted to, to skim it and just kind of like give my moral thoughts over like what was presented in the first one rather than just kind of like oh my my full just straight you know uh review of specifically the chapter but instead i'm kind of like going for more of like the pitch since it's a one shot whereas like the next chapter i'll talk more about like specific events and the characters and what we find out more towards like um you know in that chapter but anyway other than that they'll comment below 
thumbs up the video, find the like button, subscribe button, and uh, check out my other videos. Further than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. I thank you all for listening. Bye.